today I'm going to be reviewing Awake Organic Coffee Big Buzz. It's their medium roast with a sting of espresso. So what I'm going to do here is I already got some hot water on. I'm going to make like a cup or two worth of coffee in my pour over. <clears throat> and then after that, I'm going to do some espresso shots. We'll see how it tastes out of the espresso. And uh, we'll get my thoughts on this. So let me uh, open the bag up. I'll grind up uh, two cups worth for the pour over while I'm waiting for the water to, the water to uh, boil and heat up. And then um, after that, we'll uh, move over to the espresso machine. So stay tuned. I also just want to say, uh, here's the back of the bag. You can pause and read it, but I just uh, smell the beans. I have to open the bag up. They smell great. So I'm hoping great smell of beans means a good cup of coffee. So again, stay tuned and we'll find out. Okay, so the water's ready. <clears throat> Just smelled the beans after grinding them and they smelled fantastic. Let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. It's not gassing off too much. Looks of it. <clears throat> Let's give it a moment for this brew and see how it tastes. Okay, so I've poured some into the mug here and see how it tastes. Nice and light. Probably could be a little stronger. Probably should have had a little more coffee in it, but it's fine. It's got a nice uh, mellow taste to it, so I think next time I may probably make it a little stronger. <clears throat> Definitely probably could have put a little more coffee in it, would have probably really brought the flavors out a little bit more, but <clears throat> even being a little on the uh, brewing a little on the weaker side, like I did, it still tastes good. Okay, time for the espresso shots. I got my coffee already ground up, tempered it down. See, it's all nice and ready to go. So, let's put the pour filter in. Let's uh, pull two shots and let's see how this tastes on espresso. Give it a moment or two to settle down. Take another look and see how it tastes. Okay, so we got a nice crema, some nice layering, nice and dark there at the bottom. It sure looks good. You can sell, like I said, uh, grind it up, it smells good. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. It's got a nice bold taste. I definitely did the pour for, I think I did it too weak. I have to ship it some more beans in there when I grinded it up. I think it would have been a lot more flavorful based on this. It's quite possible it's just more of a coffee bean that's more uh, geared towards espresso than these pour over. Um, it's best supposed to be like AeroPress or another method perhaps it'd be even better but uh, yeah. It just straight espresso it tastes great so um, and definitely the next time I make it with the pour over, I'm gonna have to try to put more coffee into it. See if I can get a more of a bolder taste. I think it's like I said, I think that's where I'm where I made my mistakes there. Just uh, being a little too uh, lean on the mixture, so to speak. Um, not uh, giving enough coffee. But it's great out of the special machine. So um, I'll try to uh, play around that. Uh, balance and perhaps do another video, video in the future um, re-evaluating uh, this Bud's Coffee on uh, May of Pour Over, but uh, yeah, like I said, espresso, this is great, so 
if you ever had this before, uh, please feel free to uh, leave your experiences in the comments below. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. I hope you subscribe for future reviews, coffee, beer. Um, hopefully I'll get some bowling videos more in the summertime. I think it's probably what it's going to be looking at at the moment. So, um, yeah, just other general things. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll join me next time. So, cheers and on to the next one.